Hi guys and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. So a few videos ago I put up a poll in the info cards asking you if you'd be interested in like designer silk related videos and the vast majority said yes so here we are. So for my first silk related video I thought I'd compare the different fashion houses version of the Twilly. So essentially like these narrow silk scarves that you can wrap around the handles of your handbag or wear around your neck, on your wrist. There's a huge variety of ways you can actually wear the Twillies. And basically any designer fashion house has come out with their version of the Twilly. Obviously Hermes, Louis Vuitton calls their Twillies bandeaus, uh, Dior calls them Mitza, Fendi calls them Rappies, Chanel calls them bandeaus too. Um, yeah, you name it, the list goes on and on. Because as I said, basically every designer has come out with their version of the Twillies. So in today's video I'm going to compare them in terms of length and in general like measurements, uh, price obviously, and show you what the Twillies look like on the handle of a handbag. Plus I'm going to give you my personal opinion when it comes to the advantages and disadvantages and yeah just aspects of the different uh, fashion houses Twillies that I think are worth pointing out and worth noting. And I hope this video will be helpful for some of you guys if you're currently thinking of buying a Twilly but you're not sure about which fashion house to go for. And honestly, I wish there had been a video like this on YouTube when I decided to buy my first silk scarf and yeah, expand my collection from then on because I would have been able to save quite a lot of money and because some Twillies or bundles just don't work out for me. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and that it will be helpful for some of you guys. But before we get started, hi, my name is Leslie. I put out videos twice a week all about luxury, shopping, sometimes Korea. So if that sounds like a thing, definitely consider subscribing down there and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And if you enjoy this video, I would highly appreciate it if you give this one a thumbs up. That would greatly help out my channel. But now let's talk about Twilly, shall we? Um, as I said, almost every designer has their version of the Twilly or like narrow silk scarf, but I decided to focus on four brands in this video, which is Hermes, Louis Vuitton, Dior and Chanel. And I have three of those to show you in person, being an Hermes Twilly right here, a Louis Vuitton bandeau, which is from the Escal collection, I want to say. I'm not too sure, but I'll try to leave links to every item I'm showing in this video, or at least like reference codes. And the third one is a Mitza from Dior. Now, full disclosure here, the Louis Vuitton bundle that I'm showing you in this video isn't my own. If you've seen my luxury items I sold and why, you know that I did own um, three Louis Vuitton bundles in quite a similar style, but in different colors. And I sold them pretty quickly um, after not having worn them at all. So yeah, quite apparently I'm not that much of a fan of the Louis Vuitton bundles, but um, for the purposes of this video, I thought it would be nice to actually be able to show you the bundle in person. And a friend of mine was nice enough to borrow me hers for the purposes of this video, which I'm extremely grateful for, but it still has the folds and everything. It looks pristine. From the looks of it, she hasn't worn her bando at all. So I will be super careful to keep it in as pristine condition as it was when it arrived to me so yeah. As for Chanel I don't own one of their bandeaus but a friend of mine does and she offered to take some pictures of what the bandeau looks like on the pochette Matisse and yeah I'll insert them throughout the video and obviously also I'll try to insert as many pictures like from Instagram and stuff on the screen so there will be a lot of eye candy and you'll definitely get a grasp of what the Chanel bandeaus look like. First off, dimensions and measurements. I went through every website and like collected the different measurements of the Twilly, so I'll insert a table shortly. But yeah, one quick thing I want to mention is that Louis Vuitton actually has two versions of um, their Twilly. This one is a pretty wide one, but they also have a Bandeau BB, I think they are called. I'll insert a comparison picture on the screen. So yeah, I just wanted to point that out because I also include the BB Bandeau on the table that I'm showing you now. So as you can see, the Hermes Twilly is quite a bit shorter than the others, um, followed by the Dior Mitza. The Louis Vuitton bandeau on the other side is quite chunky, at least the like bigger one. First off, there's the fact that um, it has square instead of angled ends, and plus it's pretty wide too, at 8 centimeters or a little over 3 inches. So yeah, I'll just give you a couple of seconds to read or screenshot this. And I'll also insert a photo of the Twillies side by side so you get an idea of how significant the difference in length actually is. In terms of the price tag, we're looking at a range from 155 all the way up to 180 in euros, but um, I'll insert a table that also showcases the US pricing and the price in pounds. 
So, as you can see, the Hermes Twillies, quite surprisingly to be honest, are the most affordable out there in this collection. Um, on the other hand though, since they are significantly shorter than the other brands Twillies and there's a lot less silk involved, so at the end of the day I guess it makes sense. Chanel and Dior come out on top, but when you take the other currencies into account, Dior is even more expensive than Chanel. And by the way, Louis Vuitton just recently had a price increase at the beginning of May, so what you're seeing on the screen right here are the new prices. I think Louis Vuitton is getting a little out of hand when it comes to their price increases. Especially upping their prices at this point in time seems a little insensitive, I want to say, or like out of touch with what is actually happening at the moment in the world. But yeah, I guess it works out for them because um, people will still be buying their stuff. But I have a feeling some of these prices for luxury goods out there are definitely getting quite out of hand. But I digress, we're talking about Twillies here, so uh, sorry about that little rant. So now for the triumph part of this video. As I said, I'm going to tie the bandeau slash Mitza slash Twilly on my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse and we're going to start with my Hermes Twilly. As for the Louis Vuitton bandeau, I decided to not tie this particular one on my Matisse because, as I said, this isn't my personal one and it looks so pristine and new and yeah, I just thought I'd leave the christening um, of this bandeau to my friend. But what I'll do is insert a couple of photos on the screen so you still get an idea of what the bandeau looks like when tied around the handle. And as you'll be able to see on the screen, um, there's quite a significant difference between the Louis Vuitton bandeau on the Pochette Matisse versus the Hermes Twilly. I mean, the Louis Vuitton one is a lot wider, almost 40 centimeters longer, and the ends are square as opposed to angled. And to be perfectly honest, I don't really like the look of the Louis Vuitton bandeau wrapped around the handles of bags, at least the white bandeau version. I don't know, I guess the proportions aren't quite right um, and that's also one of the reasons why I never used mine and eventually sold um, my three Louis Vuitton bandeaux because every time I tried to tie them around various different handbag handles the square ends always stuck out at a weird angle and it always ended up looking messy or like disproportionate. I mean, I'm sure you'll be able to accomplish a clean and like tidy looking look with the Louis Vuitton bandeaux too but in my personal opinion, it's a lot harder to make it look sleek and not like chunky with these like square ends poking out on either side of the bag. Um, yeah, I just think the Hermes Twillies are a lot easier to work with. And yeah, also just wanted to point out if you enjoy the look um, of these like long bits of the Louis Vuitton bandeaux hanging off your bag like and going through maybe until here, like very, very long. If you enjoy that look, that's perfectly fine. I'm super happy for you, but in my personal opinion, I don't really like the look um, of those long bits of silk um, hanging off the handle. So just wanted to put out a quick disclaimer because obviously I'm only talking about my personal opinion and I prefer having the like silk bits um, pretty short. As for the Dior Mitza and what these look like on the Pochette Matisse handle, I quickly changed from the Hermes Tourly to the Mitza and I'll be back in a couple of seconds. So I'm back and this is the end result. I think it looks okay-ish um, if I had spent like more time on tying and retying. I might have been able to make it look a little more pretty, but uh, yeah, for the purposes of this video, I think this one will do. As I said earlier in the video, the Dior Mitza is almost or around like 15 centimeters longer than the Hermes Twillies and I could definitely tell while I was wrapping the Twilly or the Mitza around the handle and also the 
like silk parts on either side of the handle ended up being a little longer than with the Hermes Tully. I think it's still okay. Um, I mean, as I said, the Pochette Matisse handle is mm, somewhat on the shorter side um, and I think it's still manageable, although obviously the Mitza has a little more fabric than the Hermes Tullys, but I think it's still okay. You have a little like lumps and bumps here, which again, if you spend a little more time on making it look perfect, you'll be able to mitigate and like prevent most of these bumps. But yeah, I think the Dior Mitza is still great for like using the Twilly to tie around the handles of your handbags. And lastly, Chanel. As I said, I don't have one of their bandos to like physically show you and wrap around my pochette Matisse, but a friend of mine was nice enough to take a couple of pictures and send them to me, so I'll be inserting them on the screen and you'll be able to see what the Chanel bandos look like when they're tied around the handle of a handbag. And again, lengthwise, we're talking about 120 centimeters. So her pochette Matisse is in black empreinte leather, but the dimensions of the bag are obviously the same as my like canvas one. Since the Chanel bandeau is another 20 centimeters longer than the Dior one and almost 40 centimeters longer than the MS one, she said she definitely did struggle a bit with the length of the bandeau and you'll also be able to see that the handle has turned quite chunky because obviously she had to wrap the bandeau around quite densely to not end up with like 20 centimeters of silk hanging off either side of the handle. So despite the Chanel bandeaus being absolutely beautiful, they might be a little too long for that specific bag. Oh, and one thing I did forget to mention earlier on in the video is that Chanel also makes bandeaus with angled ends, whereas my friend's one have like the square ends similar to the Louis Vuitton ones. Um, yeah, I'll insert a couple of pictures of those. They are absolutely beautiful, but again, might be a little too long for wrapping it around the handle of the handbag. But again, just my personal opinion. So wrapping up this video, I'm going to give the gold medal to the Hermes Twillies. As you might have been able to guess uh, throughout the video, I'm a fan of the Twillies. They are the perfect length in my opinion. They are short enough for like not too much excess fabric dangling um, on either side of the handle, but long enough to cover the handle, obviously. They are somewhat narrow, which I enjoy. And yeah, I think these are perfect. Also, they are the cheapest ones out there, which cheap, like relatively speaking, obviously, um, which I definitely appreciate. And uh, yeah, I think these are perfect. And as you would have seen, Throughout the video, I'm not that much of a fan of the Louis Vuitton bandos, um, especially like the wide ones, because I think they're just too wide and too long, in my opinion. So although these are pretty and the colors and the pattern is beautiful, I think the MS Twillies are a way better option. And with that being said, thanks so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful or at least like entertaining. And um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would greatly help out my channel. And definitely let me know in the comments below if you're interested in more silk related video, like um, my truly collection or like bandeau collection because uh, the ones I showed you in this video are definitely not my only ones and yeah if you enjoy my videos please consider subscribing that would really mean a lot to me and I hope you have an amazing rest of your week until next time bye